Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I have a unboxing and a review of the Samsung Meteor mic. Now this is a USB microphone that I purchased a while back. And uh, I just now got around after unboxing this one. Now, if you notice, I already had the same one here in front of me, except this one I got this time is the Chrome version. Now, I wanted a separate one, an, an extra one, just in case the one I use constantly every day, you know, fails. And just and nice to, you know, have a little extra one in case I want to travel and leave this one here. So, now, I've got, I want to talk about this microphone before I even open up the box. These microphones are a cardioid microphone, USB powered, so you don't require any kind of phantom panel, no uh, XLR connector or anything of that nature. And they're really for people who want to be able to have a cardioid microphone that's travel uh, friendly. And this is right here is the reason I got this. A lot of people ask about those three uh, legs you see on it constantly, and that's what they are, they're legs. Now, I want to around and the unboxing of this one I got in now and I'm gonna give you a little of an audio sample you know after I get done then uh, give a full review about the microphone let you know everything that I think about it okay let's open our box up here as you can see you got a all black box now the tapes already been cut on this and I got a little story I'll explain to that it has a lot to do with going through the airport in Manila and uh, I guess the guards and stuff, and you x rayed it and got really worried about it. I guess they'd never seen a microphone like this. But it was quite funny, though. I, they finally realized it was just a microphone, nothing, nothing went boom. Everything was all good. Now, the inside of the microphone case uh, box here, you can see it's got this foam with uh, cloth on the outside of it, and you'll protect the microphone while uh, traveling and stuff, and you'll be packaged up. It's quite nice. You now the first thing you'll see here is our new shiny chrome Samson Meteor mic. Now I got the chrome one this time because I already had the black one that I've been using for a while. Let's set this right here. Now let's dig on into our box. We see more of this nice foam here with cloth on it. You know, really you know, protect the uh, microphone. Okay, under here we even get this nice little you know, bag and stuff put our microphone in for travel and our little USB cable is wrapped up pretty good in there half of it's tucked under and if we dump the rest of the contents out of the box we're left with uh, paperwork talking about it a little warranty card I believe that is a little product brochure and you know stuff not nothing you know you wouldn't expect already tells you about it you know, not too bad. Installing, which is pretty simple. This little Samsung Meteor mic uh, doesn't really use any special drivers. They use the built-in USB audio drivers. It's already in your Mac or PC. And also Linux uh, box, so no need to worry. So, we can take these little jewels and put them back in the box here. And push the box out of the way. Okay. And we'll see more of a microphone here. Let me get it in the center of the screen. You know, it's got these little fold-up legs. They have little rubber uh, pads on them. It folds up quite nicely. And it can unfold about like this. It may look awkward on the screen. Then you can see when you set it in front of you, that way it tilts upward to you and you can talk into it. Now it's got the small little micro USB port here in the back. And it also has a headphone port. That way you can do live in real time monitoring. Now the front wheel here, volume, is not for mic gain. That is actually for the headphone volume. So, but in the center here is a little press uh, button you can press that will mute the microphone or unmute it. There is no power on and off, so to cut the power off, you do need to unplug the microphone. However, it does have a little blue LED here right above the uh, headphone or volume knob that can turn orange when the microphone is muted or turn blue when it is actually in use. The case here is not nothing spectacular. It is nice that it's included, although to me it collects dust. But it can you know, be nice to put your wires in here and your microphone fold it up and be able to travel with it. That's what I do use uh, to travel with. 
Okay, so we've seen the microphone here now. Now, this is a pretty decent little microphone. I really enjoy these. I really like them. Uh, now, let's get into the audio quality. Now, I'm going to first start off and tell you less than three meters to my left here is a small air conditioning, uh, what they call a half horsepower here in uh, Asia, Southeast Asia. Although, if we was in the U.S., I would consider it a small window 110 unit. So, you know, nothing very big, probably, you know, seven, 8,000 BTUs max. That's to give you an idea of the noise level. I am now going to switch over to the audio on the Canon 70D to let you hear it. Okay. Now that you've heard the audio from the Canon 70D, let's switch, uh, switch over here to the microphone uh, in front of me, which is the same microphone, the Samsung Media Mic, just this is the black version and I'll let you hear the unedited audio noise okay great so you can tell the audio isn't too bad I do have to do some cleaning up in uh, post processing which is not nothing you wouldn't really expect to do with any microphone really so this is a noisy environment uh, Although I do think it does quite uh, good results. Now currently I am recording into an iPad over here to my right and using GarageBand to record directly into it. So uh, you have a good clean audio source here. Now I'd like to give a little small review on these. Uh, you know I haven't owned the black one here in front of me. I've owned for about a year now. Uh, if you've been watching my videos and stuff you know I've been using it and when I started using it and, uh, right after I started the podcast and the, the going from regular camera audio or you know cheaper audio solutions up to this wasn't too bad now they go for about 75 bucks now even cheaper if you look on uh, Amazon and to me they are a great option to start with okay one of the great things is it does have a little threaded spot here on the bottom this lets you connect to the uh, about the pole that I've been using okay you know like sitting here so it's really nice that it's got that. Unfortunately, the legs do not come off. Uh, so you can take them off, although it requires you know, disassembling half the microphone. That's the only real downside. I'd like to be able to have an option to be able to take these off completely and put them back on when I needed, but unfortunately, there's not. Now, the Chrome version uh, is a fingerprint magnet, but uh, since I already own the black version, I really wanted the Chrome one just because it, heck, darn, it's pretty. Let's just be quite honest here. I did see some stories before of people talking about the rubber pads might uh, pull off uh, after a while. And if they do that, a lot of people talk about it simply say super glue them back on and they'll stay on just fine. I have never had any issues with mine ever wanting to come off. So, you know, I'm, like I said, I've used mine quite a bit and used it for a while before I even got the mic stand here. And the reason of the mic stand was simply because even though this setting on your desk, uh, has the rubber pads it will start to pick up keyboard noise any kind of moving uh, movement on the desk or any kind of thumps or anything when you touch your desk put it on a mic stand didn't require me to have anything this special I just screwed it into the little thread uh, end here set it on the floor and that was enough to completely isolate any noise since I have a cement floor so there was no need no special uh, spider mount or anything so that was really nice but overall, using these, uh, I think they're really, really good for the value. Uh, the audio quality to me is really, really good. There are better audio solutions out there, although they're going to cost you more. So now there are some other ones that are very similar, like the, uh, the Blue Yeti, but it's huge. Let's just be quite frank with the uh, Blue Yeti. Yeti is a big microphone weighing in about three pounds. This was much smaller, more travel friendly. So, you know, to me, getting this was almost, you know, it was the only real option I had since I do like to travel and would like to carry it with me. There's carrying the Blue Yeti around is just ridiculous. Although it would, it does, from what many people describe from testing, have slightly better audio. But for the sheer size of it, it just wasn't worth it to me. Okay, everyone, I hope everybody enjoys this little review, audio sample, unboxing video. Uh, I want to combine them all together. I just really want to get this uh, 
you know microphone out of the box because I bought it to use and can't use it to sit in a box on a shelf for the next couple months. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. If you do, you know, hit the like button down the bottom. But if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, take the time to subscribe. You know, the channel uh, subscribing is free. You know, lets you know when I release new videos and new uh, content and stuff. So really like to have more subscribers. You know, hope everybody enjoys this. You know, until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.